Hey everyone, my name is Natalie. I just wanted to go over a quick tutorial over something that I get asked quite a bit. And that is, Natalie, when I go into Cricut Design Space and I, up, and I take my image, it tells me that the image is too large. Well, there's a reason for that and I'm going to go over that today. But first, I have to get this image to a certain size because your Cricut will cut images that are 11 and a half by 11 and a half on the small mat, but they'll cut 11 and a half by 23 and a half on the large mat, okay? But now watch this. This daisy is 7.379 by 10.625. Small enough to cut, right? Yet, look at this little flag that comes up. And look what happens when I push make it. It says project incompatible. This project is not supported by your current machine selection. To resolve, select OK and adjust the affected layers. OK. Why is it saying that? Same thing happens when I click this little thing. Not supported by Maker. Image too large. Reduce image size to 6.75 by 9.25 or less. Okay. Why is it saying that? That's a simple answer. You see up here at line type and fill? This has been saved. When I downloaded it, it's been saved as a print to cut. So if I wanted to print the cut, I'm going to have to make that image 6.75 by 9.25 or less. But that's if I wanted to print to cut. But I don't want to print to cut. I just want to cut it out. All right, there's two different ways that you can attack this issue. Number one is you can resize this to less than what the required requirement is okay but I still it's still print to cut it's still cut print okay we got to change that but let's see what happens when I do okay in order to change a cut to print file to a plain cut file you got to go over here to fill press this arrow and put no fill. Now watch happen. what happens. It doesn't look so great, does it? The daisy's not looking so hot. That's because I uploaded it as a print to cut file. Okay, so it only got the outline. Everything else, the details were supposed to be printed. Okay, we can fix that, but we're not going to be able to use this file. Delete. All right. We're going to re-upload that same daisy, and I'm going to show you why it didn't work. Upload image, browse, there's that daisy again. Open. All right, now here's where things get a little more detailed, all right? Simple. When I uploaded this before I was uploading it as a print to cut image on purpose just for this tutorial and I clicked moderately complex because there was more than one color in it you can also click uh, complex and it's going to bring up the colors the daisy as it was but I don't want that I want this simple uh, these simple colors now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take my magic wand tool and erase the colors that I don't want. I know I don't want this green in there. I just want that outline. I don't want this yellow in there. I don't want this in there. All I want is that daisy outline.
Okay. Now I'm going to continue. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> right here, if you save it as the option to the left, you're going to save as a print then cut image, okay? So that's where I, this is where I want you guys to understand is that there's two different ways to save an image. There's a save as print then cut and then just save as cut. So you want to save it as just the cut image, okay? And I'm just going to save it. I'm probably going to delete this later because it's, it may have copyrights. i have just been using this as an example. Now, see I've got the image as saved as a print and then cut image and then the image saved as a cut only. Insert the image, okay? Now then, I'm going to go over here this biggest number and make it 11.5. That's big. That's the biggest you can cut it on your 12 by 12 mat. Now there's a lot of flaws in that, but just keep in mind this is just for teaching purposes. So now I can cut this image that big. And it's going to get the details, everything in it. Whereas before, I was only getting the outline. Now, what if I decide once I get in there, I, I kind of do want that as a print to cut. Well, watch this. Print. Change the color. I just want a yellow daisy. Now my machine is going to print that yellow daisy on whatever material and then I can cut it out. So, pretty easy to swap back and forth between print to cut and cut. Just up here at this little fill button. Now I can do this as well. Print and instead of print top being color I can go for a pattern. Okay? <coughs> I want a tie-dye daisy. Now I've got a tie-dye daisy, and that's why it's going to print it and cut it out. All right, and that's how you switch back and forth, and that's just the common problems that I'm finding people are having with Cricut Design Space and knowing, you know, the difference between print to cut and just plain cut and how to change those. Y'all practice around with that, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Have a good day.